What if I told you this tiny little device can bring any ethernet device and make it Wi-Fi enabled? This is the UDB IoT and it costs just $49. So let's take a look. This tiny little device works the same way the other bridge devices do and it bridges itself to your Wi-Fi network. This is small, tiny and compact so it can be mounted or placed anywhere. There's an internal antenna and an external antenna that you can plug into this. There's an RP SMA connector and we have that antenna right here. So you could plug in another one. Then you have your ethernet cable where you can plug in your device right into here. We have a power connection at the bottom and we also have a USB-C connection. Now in terms of mounting options, you have these two right here. We have a bracket where you can use a screw to mount it to a wall. We have some 3M tape if that's what you want to do and there's a spare one inside as well, which is always useful. And there's a DIN rail mount. So if you wanna mount it somewhere on a DIN rail, you can do that too. And as always, you get yourself a level with Ubiquiti devices. So let's talk about some of the tech specs and where you might find this a little bit useful. It's small, it's compact, it's rugged. It bridges your ethernet and I will just add just here, it's 2.4 gigahertz only. This is targeting reliability and distance over throughput. So these are designed for industrial type of machines, maybe a printer, maybe door access system, not something that requires a high throughput. So if you're looking to game or if you're looking to run a 4K camera through this, it's not something that this is designed for. There are other products in the Unify ecosystem that would do that for you. And I'm going to show you exactly how this works. So we're going to plug in my PC that's next to me. Again, not the perfect scenario to be using this with, but I'm showing you the concept and how it works. So I've powered this up via a USB-C cable just to give you an example. And you can see the light just popping up on there, right? If I can get that focus, there you go. There's the light that's popping up on there. So it's ready for adoption. Opening up the Unify app, you can see we have the device here ready to be adopted. We can click adopt and away we go. We'll see that being adopted. And it does take a few moments, it gets ready. And then once it's ready, it shows you all the information that's there that's needed. So let's go to the web browser and dive into a little bit more detail. Now that that's adopted, we can see the blue lights are on here. It's showing the signal strength in terms of what the connectivity is like. So we, we have full bars on here, which is great. Perfect for what we need. We can see on Unify Network now, we now have the UDB IoT and we can see what access point we're connected to and the signal strength within it. So we have the U7 Pro XGS, which we're connected. That's around 65 dBm, 64 dBm. It's a little bit further down the hall than where I am. And it has all the stats on here. What IP address you've got, what you're connected to, signal strength, what you're sending and receiving. We have the port manager. Now this will allow you to set your VLAN. So if you wanna set different VLAN, you can do on here. So you can make sure it's definitely connected to the right network. Allow or block some VLANs and then the link speed negotiation. So it does only do 100 meg. And if you wanna put a port profile on it, go ahead. We then have the insights and we have settings. So we can name the device. You can choose the built-in antenna or the Omni antenna. It's entirely up to you or custom, depending on what works best for you in your scenario. You have the gain that you can play around with and the uplink priority. Again, we have the IP configuration, static or not, it's entirely up to you. If I go to the control panel now, and if we have a look here, we can see we have a 100 meg connection. And in terms of settings, we have an IP address as well. We have 101119, which is my management network. So exactly what I would expect it to be, except my ethernet cable is now plugged into here and it's plugged into this device, which is wirelessly meshing with my existing access point. Really easy and simple to set up as you would expect. Now remember I said this isn't entirely designed for performance, but I'm gonna quickly show you a throughput test to show you what I'm getting. So my Mac Studio that I have behind me, I'm running Open Speed Test Server on it. It's the same subnet, so behind me is 101195, and this is 101119. So let's go start. Remember this is a 2.4 gigahertz network, so I'm not expecting any crazy speeds. But if you need something steady, reliable, that's gonna give you the decent connection that you need to a device, then this is what you need. We're getting 55 meg in terms of download speed and 75 meg in terms of upload speed. Now, this is another caveat I will throw in there is this is just out of box configuration. I've not changed anything, tweaked anything, and this is doing what it needs to do. One other tech spec that you might wanna know is it has a two by two antenna in it. So for $49 to change something from ethernet to Wi-Fi is a reasonable product. It's cheap enough, it's compact, it's small, it's hidden. It has multiple power options. It will give you your steady, long distance, reliable connectivity that you need. Remember, if you're looking for something with five gigahertz or more, there are other products in this range. We have 
have things like the unified device bridge and we have the UDB Pro if that's something that you're looking at. Hopefully there'll be a future video coming on the UDB switch. It's the same concept as this as it uses a bridge mode but it has PoE switch built into it. So if that's something you want to see or something you want to know more about, let me know down in the comments. If you want to know something more about this product, again, let me know down in the comments. For now, this is Inside Wire, and I'll see you in the next one.